I'm Dula and here with another tip for crochet. For many granny square projects it works really well to join the squares on the last row of crochet. So let's look at how that goes. So here I have the two that I have already joined and here's another square that I'm going to join to these two. So here we are just talking about the joining not about how to make the granny square to start with. So I'm near the corner now on my last row and this method works equally well regardless of how many rows you have. So I'll work the double crochets into the corner. I have them in groups of three. You can of course have them also in groups of four. That doesn't matter. So here I am in the corner and I'll chain one and then I take the piece I'm joining in it too and I put these together wrong sides facing and um, insert the hook into the corner and uh, make a single crochet there then chain one and uh, return to the piece that isn't finished and uh, make the three double crochets into that corner There, then chain one and get the other piece and I'm joining it then to the next gap between the groups of double crochets. So a single crochet into that. Like that there. Chain again and then again three double crochets into the next gap just like you would always do in granny square then the same again chain one single crochet to the next gap in the other piece chain one and now we are getting to the corner so I'll do the first three double crochets into the corner there and then chain one. You can also chain two if you have larger loops in the corner. I only have two chains. Now there already is one square joined in there but I'll just insert the hook into the same place there and uh, single crochet. There we are. So now we have joined that there and then I go on and finish this here square just the way I normally do, would. I'm using the joining in the corner. This works just as well even if you join somewhere else. I'm adding a link to the video where I'm showing how to start it always in the corner. So I'll finish this piece off and then I'll show how to do it when there's already a corner corner in when you have joined already three pieces. Here I am on the last row of the next piece and I'm starting to join this. So I have done the first group of double crochets in the corner then I'm chaining one and here's where I'm going to join it to. So it will go like this here. So I'm turning this inside out and uh, putting these two together again so that the wrong sides of the crochet are facing. So single crochet and then chain one and then I'll do this just as I did in the first piece I was showing. So. Um, I'm joining this until the corner, just the same as with the previous piece. So this is what it looks like now. Again I have done the first three double crochets that go into the corner and now I need to join it to this here corner. So uh, chain stitch and uh, then 
just a single crochet into that corner where the others are also joined like that there so now it's attached to the corner and then I continue chain one and uh, do the other three double crochets into this corner chain one and then continue joining to this other square now so first I joined this to this one and now I'm joining it to this here one so uh, again a single crochet into the gap and then again the three double crochets into this one chain one and then go to the next one here and join it using a single crochet chain and now we come into the last corner so uh, three double crochets there and now I'm joining to the last corner here in there chain one and then joining it to the start of the row there so here's my piece and then of course when I'm making it bigger I just continue whatever direction I use this a lot myself in a project where you don't need to have a sort of a clearly showing join here so it's sort of a little bit more lacy when it's done this way.